Now we're live. We are live. He's like, I am bald right do, now. Do not, it's not on my head. Do not bring that up. No, I'm not bald yet. <laughs> not yet. Dude, the, the funny, the tan line in the back of your head is hilarious. Someone else here? Oh, well. Girl. <laughs> What's up, man? Sit down, up, sports fans. Sit down. We're having a... Oh, oh is, wow. this our, is this our Savage Army? Yes. What's up, Savage Army? So anyway, What's up, everybody? If you guys haven't seen him before, this is Will, our fucking director, producer. I was really excited when COVID first came out because I'm like, yeah, a real fucking pandemic. Because the, the song Ring Around the Rosies, Pock Pol, that's the Black Plague. Yep. So I was like, dude, not only am I experiencing war in my life and the Challenger fucking space shuttle ex exploding. Full merit But just all this shit that I've witnessed in my lifetime, and now it's a fucking plague. <laughs> Like, this is going to be great. But then it's like a 98 point Holy shit. <laughs> I'm doing this for the boys and the content. I'm not gay. <laughs> you got to oh. take your shirt off, dude. This is family, family friendly programming here. <laughs> uh, there you go. 100 bucks, boy, right here. Yeah. Shake yeah. it. First, you got to do the truffle shuffle. Come on. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hoorah! <laughs> yeah. Hoorah! Yeah. Shrimp, Hoorah! Shrimp and fried Elvis, my two foot onions. All right. Later, guys. Who disliked? Yeah, who disliked? You fucking communist. Is there a dislike on here somewhere? I don't think so. I can't tell. <laughs> All right. See you guys. See ya. See ya. Fucking boom. In. So what's up? <laughs> it's so all right. All right. So we just finished a uh, hour live stream of of beer drinking and debauchery. You guys can look back on that a little later on. He shot me in the back. I shot him in the back. Literally. Literally. Not with with this. Not with anything else. With the vector. Uh, that actually. How'd that feel? You know, it felt good. It felt good. It reminded me that I was alive. Good. That's that's what you wanted here. Explosion. So, Post. my interweb friends, so we. So, you don't know who we are. I'm, I'm Jason. I'm Patrick. And the, what you're watching, what you caught yourself up in and you can't turn away, is Savage Actual. And we're here to talk about. The best thing ever. The best. We're, we're a drug in your body now. Just let it in, let the heart rate fucking start rapidly pumping. Let all those endorphins start kicking like you're you're in now. You're 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 part of the tribe. Yeah. You're part of the tribe. Uh-huh. You remember that like Wolf uh -huh. of Wall Street? <laughs> Could you do that? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. How, how many how many times you jerk off a day? Fifteen. Yeah, I'm bumping those numbers those up. Those are rookie though. numbers. Yep. Yep. I haven't washed my hands, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so we <All> right. <laughs> we to circle back around here are touching base on a game that I've been playing since 2012, which is called Eve Online. I know, right? Two military dudes talking about a space game. But who's really been to space? Who who's really been to space outside of fucking Bezos and billionaires? Billionaires and those guys. Yeah. Chris McAuliffe. Fuck those guys. You know what Chris McAuliffe said before she left the house? No. You feed the dogs, I'll feed the fish. Is that what she said? Mm -hmm. Before she went to space? Mm -hmm. It's pretty badass. He's I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What are you talking you about? You guys know that joke. If you know, you know. What? No, I don't know what you're you talking about. You have to Google that shit later. Did she even go to space? Commander Dick Scobie follows by mission specialist uh, G. Resnick, Ron McNair, and uh, pilot Mike Smith, followed by Krista McAuliffe, teacher in space. We have main engine start, four, three, two, one, and liftoff, liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. A minute, 15 seconds, velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles that the vehicle has exploded. Flight director confirms that. We are uh, looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. 
No, she was in the Challenger and it blew up on the way up. That's so fucked, and that's so gonna get cut out. But <laughs> I don't know. We're doing a cutaway and educating everybody. No, so, no. hey guys. So back to Eve Online, <laughs> yeah. space game. We're two guys, military dudes, talking about a space game. So. It's relative, because I've been playing this fucking game since 2012, and this game is one of the most in-depth PC games that I've ever played. It's currently on fucking Steam. Uh, I didn't know how long it came out until I actually did some research recently about this, but this came out in 2003. And it was initially started by, I have to look down, uh, <laughs> Simon, Simon Schuster. Simon well, that's who put it out. Simon Schuster Interactive is the ones who published the game. And they only, yeah, they only had the game from May to December 2003. And then CCP Interactive, which what is... CCP stand for? The Communist... Chinese Communist Party. Yep, yeah, that's it. Not. They own everything. It's not true. We made that up. But CCP Games, or excuse me, Interactive actually... Uh, took over this game shortly after that, and they've had it ever since. So, um, I play this game like once a week. It's pretty badass. It's it's a big. It's literally technically a multi massive multiplayer online game. Um, it's all space. It has a player driven economy. It's super in depth. I mean, it's it's literally like I said, the most in depth space game. So, there's how would it compare to like Star Trek Deep Space Nine? I don't know about any of that shit, but it's, it's, it's equivalent. I mean, it's like they've got 7,500, 7,500 roughly systems that players can actually go into. That's 7,500. Solar systems. Solar systems. Solar and each system has systems. a plethora of fucking asteroid belts to moons to fucking uh, stations. It's, it's, it's fucking super in-depth. You have access to about 358 ships. Uh, from really tiny fucking shuttles all the way to like Titan class ships, and and it's you can mine, you can do PvP, you can do PVE. Uh, it's just super in depth. So Patrick came over a little earlier, and I was showing him the game. And aesthetically, even since I've played since 2012, it's uh, graphically speaking, it's gotten a lot better. Oh, um, it has changed since. Yeah, I mean, just with the upgrades with with technology of of, of systems and. You know, video cards. It's it's gotten a lot better. So, uh, super sexy game. It's like one of those games you can just kind of, you know, go drift away literally in space. The music's fucking amazing, <laughs> and it's it's a good relaxing game. I dig it, but it's also pretty heart pounding too. I've been doing some PvP lately with uh, with my corporation that I just recently joined, and uh, it's the Umbrella Corporation. The Umbrella. No, I left a big corp called Pen. Uh, Pandemic Horde, which had like 2,500 members, and it was in null sec. And I'm recently with a new high sec group. Uh, it's a long story, but there's 13, roughly 13 races. Uh, some of those are Amar, the Kaldari, the Galantic. But they're all human based too, right? So yes, the thing, yes, it's this there's game. There's no actual aliens in the thing at all. I saw that when I was doing a little bit. There's, they're not alien. There races. are, there are like, some advanced or changed human humanoid type stuff you right? do have some alien races so oh, really yeah yeah okay. so interesting there's some pirate factions like sancha's sancha's garist oh there's garistas sancha's uh there's like npcs so there's like factional warfare always going on within the game and like actual npcs are fighting each other but players real players humans can actually fucking join these factions and fight each other so there's like factional warfare and there's like corporational warfare uh, to date, there was like one of the biggest, it was called, uh, it was a, oh, I forgot the name of the fight. Oh, that war? There was a war, and it's still to date like one of the biggest. It was like 7,000 fucking people fighting. It was called like the bloodbath or something like that, but it's like in the history books of gaming, it was the biggest player count in numbers of online players to ever fight at once. So the opportunity for huge, massive battles are fucking there, and the monetary system in the game is called ISK. And uh, I'm gonna make a shirt that says "Give me those iskies." And uh, what's the ease? What's the iskies? So it's it's like it's like like the small. chicken nuggies. You know, give me those iskies. You know, it's like it's like I was one of the other guys say it the other day in the in the fucking uh, in the corporation. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna make that into a shirt. So give me those iskies. So it's the it's the currency. It's isk, and you can make money by mining. So there's these like ore. ORE is the company name that makes these high class fucking mining vessels from the Orca, the Rorqua, the, the Porpoise, all the way down to the Venture. And you fucking mine, 
these fucking asteroids and go back to the station and fucking sell it, reprocess it, and then legit fucking human fucking players use those materials to make fucking ships from blueprints and then sell those to back to the market. So it's a huge like human based well, fucking Chatty market. Talkie, do you want to start some of the video? Because I think some of this is covered in that. Well, let's let's do it. Let's take a look at it. So yeah. we're we're gonna take a look at the video and Jason will talk along with that. That works. That works. Let's See, that. I need this guy. It's keeping me on track. All right. Listen to that music. He's Eve like, Online is I a vast to, universe. Like, and I have that ship. Alive with the unrelenting activity and combined history of its players. Pursuing lives of adventure, warfare, and prosperity. They Rits share always sounds so much cooler when you're doing this stuff. Like, like if this was some like Look at all those Alabama, shits. I know. you wouldn't I know, be like, I know, I know. This is dumb. She's like, this is the best thing ever. 21,000 years in the future, Eve takes place in a distant cluster of over 7,000 star systems known as New Eden. It's crazy. It is a rich and diverse universe, featuring densely populated havens it better be of diverse. relative safety, driven yeah. by four great empires. Hostile systems, where player alliances make the rules. Even regions of anomalous and unexplored space that hold their own secrets. That looks cool. It's like a bunch of lumber in the space. <laughs> space lumber. You play as a capsuleer. A revered breed of highly trained pilot, having achieved immortality through the use of cloning technology. You saw. Looks like the Matrix. You saw the blown up me. Looks like Keanu Reeves right there. Capsule deep within your ship, where you have complete neural control and function as one. There are hundreds of ships to fly in Eve. 358. To be exact. Everything from small, nimble craft and versatile mid-range vessels. Dude, that thing looks like, like Boba Fett ship. I've got that ship too. Do you? Yeah. Freighters. It's the Vexer. Each has advantages and suited roles, but all are completely customizable as you decide how to equip and arm them. Dude, I'm getting excited watching this. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I get to go play. What's the shuttle? In New Eden is entirely up to you. Eve's immense sound. I like the, gives you I like the, the big screens that are like between between advertising and activities. The key to this unique customization. The Estero. I have that one too. <laughs> Actually, it was blown up. He's geeking. Oh, really? You yeah. did yeah. get it destroyed? Oh, I got fucking. You are in yeah, or out it was a hectate again. ship. It blew me up in five seconds. It was hunting me player, in space. Oh. I was running from it, trying to hide. To <laughs> they got me. The <laughs> they got me. Specialization as a if you're watching and you did that, F you, man. So yeah, F you. F you, man. And explore new <laughs> avenues of development for your character. As you can always change role and reinvent yourself if desired. You can, that's cool how they, like, cloak. Yeah, the cloaking's sick. It's a big freighter, super freighter. It hauls. If you thousands fight, of things. Combat in Eve can involve solo missions against non-player adversaries. Adversaries. Aluminium. <laughs> I know. Al aluminium. That's an, a great British one. Aluminium. Make sure you wrap that up with aluminium. And they spell favorite with O-U-R. Yeah, yeah. O-U-R-I-T-E. Aluminium. Or small group skirmishes. While for some, it can even be the thrill of fleeting up with thousands of fellow pilots and battling over disputed territory. If you want to explore, then the discovery of uncharted space and ancient so regions... That's, the that's what I was doing. I was exploring, using and like scanners and shit for wormholes and this dude, this dude fucking found... Exploring. exploring. Yeah. Weird, man. You can also engage <laughs> in the business of prosperity. There's you can engage in the business of prosperity. That's what Jeff Bezos does. Yeah. Oh! The beauty of life in New Eden is that all of these activities, and many more, 
can be done alone or with others. A unique in-game market, unprecedented in scale and degree of player control. Isn't this the value is the of ISK? Heart <laughs> That's of the ISK market. We had a little, we had a little dip there. The we, we got a new president and the ISK market kind of dropped off. Yeah, here's the uh, blueprint I was talking about. It's pretty dope. What is it? You, you literally make blueprints to sell and make ships. It's, the human players are buying this shit, so it's crazy. You've got... So, but you, so you can create different shapes of ships. Can't fuck with the shapes, but they make the ship for you to buy. Interesting. Players in EVE can band together to form corporations where they can enrich their experience, learn new elements of gameplay, and That's share cool. their wealth and goals. When these player-run corporations grow to become larger entities, they can merge with other corps to form alliances. <laughs> That's the one I was with. That's hilarious. Regularly compete for control and influence over large areas of space, waging wars and engaging in record-breaking battles. Jeez. Dude, that's like real that's shit. That's the one that was the big one, right? I don't know Build if that's the big one, but they have big ones a lot. Player-built space stations. Damn. Those are all ships, dude. What was, In the spirit of what was exploration that? The three. And mystery, new it's the, uh, and experiences are constantly. It was a Stargate, is what it was. Okay. Just a different shape. Yeah. With over a decade of free expansions, leading to continual development and evolution of gameplay. Evolution. I know. You get it? Evolution. While every action and decision has consequences for the universe, she and sounds its hot. hundreds of thousands <laughs> of players, the game remains very much. About your unique adventure and story. Like, Would you like some toast, it? Jason? Go for it. I'm the CEO of a industrial corporation in EVE Online. We're a five-man operation, and we specialize in manufacturing and delivering fully fitted chips in bulk. See, that's what I was talking about. I want to be on the side of the people who are fighting against the oppression, against the bad guys, and it's like a project. And you're against the Empire. The together by getting the skills ready for the ship and all the modules, and that ship basically is the dream. 14 billion is. That guy's a baller. ...to scan down unknown parts of space. And there's always the threat of being discovered by another player. That's what happened to me. Out hunting explorers. <laughs> Your heart's racing, everything, you know, bullets are flying, ships are all over the place, and you start shaking because your jaw's pumping because you're going to lose your ship. Let's go get the fucking It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking rad. Forever be woven into the fabric of Eve. Nice. Yeah, I mean, dude, that was a really good, you know, snapshot of what You're this game is You're welcome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so why was I even talking? She repeated in a much better accent. A much sexier accent. Much sexier accent than, than, than my so, mug. So, for all of you who are interested in some cool space stuff, check out EVE online. And what's your, what's your character name? My character is Vlad Blackbird. That's him. He looks like Elvis. He's like Space Elvis. He's got black hair. <laughs> He's all fucking laughing. He's got black hair. He's got a chiseled jaw. He's like everything I would be if I had black hair that was straight. And you were a space pirate? I was a space pirate. Not a butt pirate. A clone but a fucking space pirate. Space Vlad space... what? Black what? Vlad Blackbird. B-L-A-C-K-B-R-D. Oh, so now you're going to get people friending you? Yeah, hit me up Is on that... there. If you yeah. see me out there, kill me. If you see him out in space, and you're just like, what's up? Is Vlad on that ship? And he's like, what's up? How you doing, man? What's up? Out here floating in the particles. Yeah, hit me up. Vlad Blackbird. I'll throw a little fucking screenshot of Space Elvis. Okay, we will, yes, we will get you a picture of Space Elvis. Hey, guys. Uh, anything else you want to add to this? No. That was awesome. That was super cool. It looks fun. It actually does look super relaxing. And how long you been playing that game? 2012. So. Almost 10 years. You've got a long way to go if you're getting in today, but if you drop like a hundred grand on that, you could be like, um, like you could be like East seven, Space President. Seven hundred dollars you can drop to to bump up those skills with real world money. So 
If you're rich, it's like, fuck it, jump into it. Get it, get it. Yeah. All right, hey guys, thanks for watching Savage Actual. Again, I'm Patrick, this is Jason. Make sure you guys check out our Instagram and our Facebook. Make sure you subscribe and check us out at savageactual.com. Thanks for watching. Peace. Adios. <laughs> it's fucking hot.